Are you the type of person who has about 20,000, 30,000, or 50,000 as a capital? Well, today is your lucky day because we're going to teach you how to start a food stall business. Hi guys, welcome to Money Mondays with Sir Chubby. Today we're in Tambayan Food Park in Consolation, the biggest food park in Cebu. Today is your lucky day and I know a lot of you have been thinking of starting a business. And today we're going to share to you the three main secrets of starting a food stall business. The main secret in all businesses with food, especially with food, even with real estate, it's location 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 you want to be in an area where there is a high foot traffic there's a high traffic of vehicles there's many people that's going to that area why because mainly you want your location to be the main marketing tool of your business you want people to see your food you want people to see your logo they want people to see your brand you want to see people ordering in other words the social proofing of your business is available in your location the only challenge and this is an experience for me is when you want to start a business in a good location it's very expensive so if you want to rent in an area where it's in the highway it's very expensive so what's the solution partner with a food park partner with a just like that's all that's sprouting right now the food businesses or the commercial businesses that rent out small areas just like a 18 square meter or 22 square meter to start your business good afternoon everyone i'm grace i'm the co-owner of mr crab ang among ika share nga advice inyo kung gusto mo mag start uh, inyong kaugalingong business is to of course uh, number one dyan na is know your kaning hilig so kinahanglan dilikta mo sulod og isa ka business nga wala kay uh, wala kay hanaw ana or kaning imo lang itry try so dapat you know first kung unsa imong hilig kung kabalo ba ka ana knowledgeable on of course imong i uh, observe good kung unsa pud ang experiences from others kay diha man ka makakuha og kaning um kaning additional knowledge ana sa imong na, sa imong business pohon nga imong uh, e-come up which leads us to step number 2 which is start small i know a lot of people who won't start a business because they believe and it's embedded in their mind that to start a business involves a very large capital for me you can start a business with just 2000 pesos you can start a business with 5000 pesos power what's important really is when you start you should start small why because when you start small and if you fail which is in most cases you will on the first few tries at least you won't fall very far off from where you started let's just say you have thirty thousand. you can start renting a small space and start your food business right away hi again i'm again with rob of sticky finger hi rob hi how are you doing um he's the owner of sticky finger can you have give a sort of a business tip to the people that are watching um business tip is like slowly go around if you have one if you have friends do a brainstorm learn what and learn your competitive what's going on here if you're a foreigner really sit down and have an open eyes to the people here because as it says it's not all the fun you know so much fun in the philippines there's a lot of love here wow. and so they open wow. up and they tell you exactly what's going on and they'll tell you what you need to do and if you really listen to them you won't never fail wow that's a very nice tip thank you so much oh, you're Rob. welcome thank you thank you for coming by thank you as you can see most businesses here started with their sweat capital their skills their know-how in preparing food or giving people some delicious meals so they started small and then more importantly which leads to step three the most important just start and i will repeat that just to remind you the person who is successful is not the person who had a plan who had a dream the person who is successful is the person 
who went to start on working on his dreams. If you really want to have your own business, if you want to quit your job, if you want something that will provide for you the passion, the skill, the income that you want, just start. And I know a lot of you have questions, what will happen, what if it doesn't work, then start again. So the most important thing really is to get over the fear of starting. Just like you can see here, there's a lot of um, booths or that, there's a lot of vacant food stalls of people who are planning to start their own business. It may not be that big, it may start as a hassle, it may start as something that you really need to work on. It starts something as bare, but eventually if you keep on working on it and hustling and doing your best and continuously improving, your business will grow as you grow with it. Hi guys, Kuyuk Bikaroni, Ma'am Dahlia of Lugaw ni Bossing. Uh, para na ako, kung musud ka og business, kung mo start ka og business, it has to be like uh, easy to monitor. Wow, Dili easy to monitor. Okay. Yes, easy to monitor. That's very important because um, you can't be here all the time. So you will entrust your, your business to your staff. So it has to be easy to monitor para ang imong return return of investment na makita ni mo dayon. Aside from that, it has to be easy to sell. And um, malikayan po na to ang, wa ang waste sa pagkaon. So, imong, imong mabana-bana daan kung kusog barong adlawa, kung pila ang imong lutoon para uh, malikayan ang imong waste. In conclusion, starting a food stall business is not really hard. In fact, you can start in your office right now. You can cook some pastries, cakes, or even meals and serve it to your friends and to your office mates. It doesn't have to be complicated and capital intensive. What's important is you really start. And as you start, you scale up. When I say you scale up, you grow your, your capacity to provide, meaning you cook more or you either hire someone. It can be your neighbor, your friend, your office mate, your mother-in-law, your mother to help you in preparing the food. And eventually, again, scale up and hire somebody hire employees, hire an accountant, as long as you keep on growing the business. But for me, the really important thing is when you want to start a food stall business, is your capacity to start, grow, start, grow, start, grow. Guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned a lot from today's episode, especially for those who have food stalls here and started their own business as well. If you have questions and comments, please comment below. We're giving a lot of freebies from Tambayan Food Park so that you can also come here and enjoy the food, enjoy the drinks, and of course, meet the people who we interviewed about their business. Again, don't forget and always remember, do what you love and love what you do. You are a passion pinor.